This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. Foundation for Supernatural Living Praying in the Spirit lays the foundation for super natural living. To live supernaturally, praying in the spirit is key. The scripture established said, walk in the spirit that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For we to walk in the spirit, we must enjoy praying in the spirit. So praying the Spirit is the key to supernatural living. He said in Jude, building up your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. Jude chapter 1 verse 20 said, building up your most holy faith by praying. In the Holy Ghost, praying in the Spirit will increase your spiritual capacity. I said praying in the Spirit will increase your spiritual capacity. One of the ways we increase our spiritual capacity to do the impossible is by praying in the Spirit. When you pray in the Spirit, you are increasing your spiritual capacity to unlock the impossible. This situation can be said to be an impossible situation. But when you begin to pray in the Spirit, there is an uncommon boldness you will generate to advance beyond every darkness. And one of the greatest keys to the expression of the God life is praying the Spirit. I said one of the keys to the expression of the God life is praying in the Spirit. When, when we pray in the Spirit, we unlock the expression of the God life in our everyday activity. God wants us to become people who express his presence wherever we find ourselves, whether it has to do with our job, with our business, with our career, with our ministry. It is by praying in the spirit, we unlock uncommon wisdom to excel in the things of the Spirit, praying in the Spirit. Another benefit of praying in the Spirit, it will increase your sensitivity in recognizing the things of the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit will increase your spiritual sensitivity to recognize the things of the Spirit to know which way to go. When we pray in the Spirit, it helps us to recognize the things of the Spirit. There are times that God wants you to see a particular thing. He wants to reveal something to you. God can reveal something to a person and they lack the ability to comprehend the manifestation that is being revealed to them. God could reveal something to someone. God could uh, say to a person, this is what I want you to do, or this is what I want you to have, or this is the area, direction I want you to follow. It is by the help of the Spirit, you recognize, you acknowledge, and receive supernatural visitations. It is by the help of the Spirit of God. And that is why praying in the Spirit 
will increase your spiritual sensitivity to recognize, to acknowledge, to know. the spirit you can have a god and god sensitivity will increase and we can unlock the things that god wants us to experience there are things that god wants you to experience there are things that god wants you to come into there are things god wants you to experience there are things that god wants you to come into and you're going to come into those things by the help of the spirit of god as you pray in the spirit, you make progress. As you pray in the spirit, you make progress. You make progress. You make progress. As you pray in the spirit, you make progress. You make progress by listening to the Holy Ghost. We make progress by listening to the Holy Spirit. So praying in the Spirit will increase your spiritual sensitivity. The first thing I said is that praying in Spirit will increase your spiritual capacity. Your spiritual capacity, the ability to do. There are certain things you can't do if you don't have the capacity that is required to do them. There are certain expressions of the Spirit that is directly connected to your spiritual capacity as a person. So it is important that you pray in the spirit to increase your capacity. You pray in the spirit to increase your sensitivity. You pray, the top thing is that praying the spirit helps you to come into spiritual understanding. Praying in the spirit helps you to come into spiritual understanding. Praying the Spirit helps you to come into spiritual understanding. We, we come into spiritual understanding by praying in the Spirit. There are certain scriptures, you're looking at them, and, and you don't have understanding of those scriptures. When you begin to pray in the Spirit, the Holy Ghost will begin to show you what to do Consigning what you have read. Praying the Spirit will increase spiritual understanding. And spiritual understanding is required for having right interpretations. Spiritual understanding is required for having right interpretation. It takes spiritual understanding to do the application of God's Word. You, you can't truly do application without understanding. Understanding is key to unlocking direction. Understanding is key. So when we pray in the Spirit, one of the key things that we are going to experience is increase in spiritual understanding. Increase in spiritual understanding. There are certain things you want to do. There are certain manifestations you want to see. There are certain level of, there are the results, there are there are results you want to come into, manifestations you want to come into, but the possibility of it is connected to spiritual understanding. So praying the Spirit helps you to come into spiritual understanding that you know, and someone can explain how you get to know what was going on. By the Spirit you know, by the Spirit you understand. By the Spirit, you make the connection. And that was why the scripture said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. To know the truth, praying the Spirit is important. Because you can read the truth and don't know it's the truth. You can hear the truth and don't know it's the truth. But when you begin to pray in the Spirit, you'll be able to recognize the truth. Praying in the Spirit helps you to recognize the truth. He said, your spirit will be a witness. One of the ways our spirit bears witness is when we begin to pray in the Spirit. 
when you begin to pray in the spirit, there will be witnessing going on right inside of you. That thing is of God. That thing is the will of God. That is the purpose of God. So praying in the Spirit increases your spiritual understanding to enable you exercise your spiritual authority. I want to say that again. I said praying in the Spirit helps you to increase, helps to increase your spiritual understanding that will enable you to maximize your spiritual authority. If you're going to maximize your spiritual authority, it will take spiritual understanding. You need to be in a place of spiritual understanding to be able to maximize spiritual authority. He said you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. What makes you free is the truth of God's word. Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. This is one of the key things. I said number one, that praying the Spirit will help you to increase your spiritual capacity. Number two, praying the Spirit will help you to increase your spiritual sensitivity. Number three, praying the Spirit will help you to increase your spiritual understanding. When you pray in the Spirit, it will help you increase your spiritual understanding. There are certain things you won't be able to understand, but when you begin to pray in the Spirit, Revelation flow. Number four, praying in the Spirit will open the door to revelation knowledge. Praying in the Spirit will open the door to revelation knowledge. One of the keys to unlocking revelation knowledge when you study God's Word is praying in the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit will unlock revelation knowledge, and it takes revelation knowledge. To strengthen your faith, it takes revelation knowledge. If a man does not have revelation of the word of God, their faith cannot be effective. Their faith cannot be productive. Their faith cannot be active. So it takes revelation knowledge to strengthen your faith. He said, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. How does faith come? It comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. It comes by hearing the word of God. If I'm not listening to God's word, if I'm not meditating on the word of God, it's very difficult for me to have the flow that I need for my life, my dreams, my vision. But praying in the spirit will help you to unlock the treasures in the word of God. To unlock the treasures of God's word, pray in the spirit. People who pray more in tongues will have better access to revelation knowledge of God's word. Because as you pray in the spirit, your, your spirit man is able to make the connection with what God's word is saying. Your spirit man is able to make the connection. As you pray in the spirit, you become receptive. You're able to comprehend. You're able to see. Something is happening. Whenever we pray in tongues, something is happening. Is the one thing the enemy doesn't want you to know is the benefit of praying in tongues. The benefit of praying in the spirit. The enemy doesn't want you to know that. And there are religious people that teaches against praying in tongues. But you see, there are certain manifestations, there are dimensions of the spirit you cannot experience except you're praying in the Holy Ghost. There are expressions of the Spirit. Being led by the Spirit of God is rooted in praying in tongues. I can tell you this. To be led by the Spirit of God is rooted in praying in tongues. To be led by the Spirit is rooted in praying in tongues. If you want to be led, if you want to know the will of God, if you want to know the plan of God, if you want to know the purpose of God, it begins with praying in tongues. As you begin to pray in tongues, you, you are receptive, you're sensitive, you're quick to understand, you're quick to know, you're, you're quick to receive, you're quick to unlock the treasures of the Spirit as you're praying in tongues. As you're praying the Spirit, you're quick to know. There is a quickening that takes place in you. You just know. And someone said, how did you know? You are making a decision, moving in the right direction, without considering whatever the consequences or challenges may be, and you just see yourself moving in the right direction. As you pray in the Spirit, supernatural direction will become natural to you. 
to know supernatural direction will become natural to you the more you pray in tongues. You just know. You just know. You, you, you won't live in a place of confusion. A man who pray more in tongues does not function from a place called confusion. Because you pray in the spirit, you just know the next step to take. You just know. You just know. This is the next thing to do. This is the next place to go. This is what to say. You just know. Praying in tongue has to be an intentional action. You don't just pray in tongue because you want to pray in tongue. You pray in tongue with an intentional expectation that this activity going on inside of me right now has a potential to transform my life and equip me for supernatural results. You need to have that kind of mindset. That as you're praying in the spirit, something is happening. Never pray in the spirit and say, well, nothing is happening. I'm just exercising myself. No, 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 no. Whenever you're praying in the spirit, there is a supernatural transaction taking place. There is a release of the spirit. Insight is coming. Understanding is coming. Revelation is coming. As you're praying in the spirit, something is happening inside of you. Praying in the Holy Ghost lays the foundation for spiritual understanding. And praying the Spirit is the key to being led by the Spirit of God. You want to be led. You want to know how to be at the right place at the right time doing the right things. Then praying the Spirit. Then praying the Holy Ghost. While you're praying the Spirit, expect divine communication. You can be talking in tongues and God is talking into your heart. You can be talking in tongues. You can be praying in tongues and God is talking right inside your heart. You are talking in tongues. You're praying the Spirit. As you're praying the Spirit, be sensitive to know that there is a divine communication proceeding from you and there can be a feedback of the communication that you're experiencing. When you're praying in tongues, know that God can be speaking to you while you're praying the Spirit. There can be a feedback. While you're praying in tongues, you can receive interpretation of tongues. While you're praying in tongues, so don't say praying in tongues as, uh, I just have to pray. No, 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 no. It is a very sensitive matter that has to do with increase of understanding, increase of capacity, increase of sensitivity, increase of responding to the flow of the Spirit. You'll be able to increase when it comes to responding to the flow of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. As you pray in tongue, you resolve confusion. You resolve darkness, you resolve that depression, that frustration. Praying the Spirit is one of the ways you release your human spirit from any form of oppression, distraction, manipulation, and deception. As you pray in the Spirit, we will come into this awareness of what we have. What we have in Christ Jesus, there is a boldness you generate by praying in other tongues. Likuma and Lika Maleke Malavia. Me brido se kata libranto koyava libranto kobayava lederebo shakana masina na matu matina baba as you pray in tongues as you pray in the spirit your hearing will increase makuri bragada your ability to see prophetic visions makete mahaka daba your ability to see prophetic vision your ability to conduct supernatural activities your your knowing begins to rise. As you pray in the spirit, as you pray in the spirit, they come and they will shock and they break up. As you pray in the spirit, the boldness from making decisions that will transform your life will be in place. As you pray in the spirit, yes, as you pray in the spirit. As you pray in the spirit, yes, as you pray in the spirit, you're coming into rest. My Yakaprava, this is the rest. Yes, this is the rest. That this is the key to supernatural rest. Yes, there is so much confusion, there is so much distraction, there is so much opposition around you. But begin to pray in the spirit. One of the keys to solving your problem is praying the Holy Ghost. 
One of the keys to solving your problem, whether it's a financial problem, marital problem, career problem, a business problem, one of the keys to solving problem is to start praying in tongues, praying the Holy Ghost. As you begin to pray the Holy Ghost, you start taking control of your emotion, you start taking control of your mind, and you start taking control of your thinking, and you start taking control of your expectation. As you begin to pray in tongues, my as you pray in tongue, your understanding of what to do concerning that business decision will come. I can tell you, as you begin to pray in the spirit, a lot of people sometimes become depressed, become weary, become tired, and they want to give up, and they want to quit, and they said, I'm tired of life, I'm tired of everything I'm going through, I'm tired of all of this pressure around me. No, listen to this. As you begin to pray in tongue, you begin to push back the forces of darkness backwards. The enemy is going to come with all kinds of distraction. It may be in your marriage, maybe in your business, it may be with a child, maybe with a friend, maybe with a colleague in the office or church member or somebody somewhere. The enemy is looking for who to use to distract you. You can use someone in your marriage. You can use someone in your business place. You can use someone. The enemy can use anybody to create a distraction for you. You see, one of the purpose of praying in tongue is to know what to do. Is to know what to do. As we pray in tongue, the weight of depression. Sometimes people they are depressed, they are frustrated, there is no joy in them, they are not happy, they are looking at their life and said, Nothing is working for me. Listen to this. Life is spiritual, and it takes spiritual understanding to determine the quality of life that will proceed from you. Life is spiritual. One of the purpose of praying in tongue is to take control of the realm of the spirit. Yes, you take control of the realm of the spirit as you begin to pray in tongue. A lot of people will sit back and they begin to cry about their life. This is not working. That is not working. I don't know what to do with my life. My life is so complicated. No, 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 no. Don't have the enemy to finish your life. Don't have the enemy to ruin your life. Begin with praying in tongue, as you begin to pray in tongue, day one, day two, day three, you're praying the spirit, suddenly the, the, the weight, the, the, the spirit of heaviness and that weight of depression, anxiety, frustration, that thought of suicide, that thought of hopelessness, that thought of being lifeless begins to fade away. As you pray in the spirit, whatever that is not of God begins to fade away. Praying in the spirit is the key to supernatural operations of the Holy Ghost. Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. No matter where you are in life, you can rise out of that place. You can walk away from that limitation. No matter where you are in life, you can come out of that place. Whether it has to do with your finance, it has to do with your job, it has to do with your marriage, it has to do with your health. Any area of life where you have suffered the faith, where you have been experiencing setback, when you begin to pray in tongues, when you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost and you are intentional, Makida and Nebro Kuhabara, you're intentional about praying in the spirit, you know what will happen? You will begin to have a better picture. Makuri Kotoma and the Grababa. You begin to have a better picture. That weight of depression and frustration and your mind going up and down, and you, you you're thinking of, oh, what have I, what have going to do? What is life for us? What is happening to us? All of those confusion will begin to fade away the more you pray in the Spirit. As you begin to pray in the Spirit, hunger for God's Word will stir up in your spirit. Yes. One of the reasons why a lot of people cannot read the Bible is because they don't pray in the Spirit. When you begin to pray in the Spirit, there will be hunger to read the Bible. Hmm. Hunger for the word of God will begin to rise in your spirit, man. As you begin, because you can't pray in tongue for 30 minutes or one hour. The next thing you want to fellowship with God's word. And people who don't pray in tongues, who don't pray in the spirit, most times find it difficult to read the Bible. Even preachers, they find it difficult to read the Bible becomes a struggle. You know, some people can go for two weeks, they have not read the Bible. They can go for one month, they have not read the Bible, but they are believers, they are children of God. You see, praying in the Spirit will open the door of spiritual hunger. 
You become more hungry for God, hungry for the will of God, hungry for the plan of God, hungry for the purpose of God. As you begin to pray in the spirit, that is why the enemy sometimes is trying to frustrate you from praying the Holy Ghost. He, he, he creates activity, he allows you to be carried away with your problems, with your situation, with your marriage, with your job, with your career. The enemy is trying to bombard you with all kinds of thought because once you begin to pray in the spirit, darkness begins to fade away. Once you begin to pray in the spirit, you begin to destroy the root of the thought of suicide. Once you begin to pray in the spirit, you start taking care of those evil spirits that have been whispering to your mind, that have been talking to your mind. As you pray in the spirit, you start clearing the atmosphere of your mind. You start clearing the atmosphere around you. This is why the enemy doesn't want you to do this, because doing this means you are going to make wise decisions that will produce uncommon manifestations, uncommon results, uncommon profit, and you become more productive and effective. Praying in the Spirit is the key to spiritual boldness. You see, you can't be bold towards the realities of redemption without praying in the Holy Ghost. You, you can't come into the realities of redemption without praying in the Holy Ghost. There are many things that Jesus has done for you. Look at Revelation 5, verse 12. He said the Lamb was slain to receive power. That was why Jesus died. Jesus died for you to live a life of power, not for you to be bewitched, not for you to be controlled, not for you to say, oh, the enemy has tied me down, or oh, the devil is messing me up. No, the lamb was slain to receive power. The first thing the lamb was slain to receive was his power. Let me go to that scripture. Revelation 5, verse 12. Look at this scripture here. It says, saying with a loud voice. It says, saying with a loud voice, what is the lamb that was slain to receive power? The first thing the lamb has to take care of is the power issue. Because when you have power, you have control. When you have power, you have dominion. When you have power, you are responsible in determining the outcome of your life. This is why Jesus died. Yes, the lamb was slain to receive power. A lot of people don't know why Jesus died. We have all kinds of religious fashion of why Jesus died. But this is the authentic Fashion, why he died. Revelation 5, verse 12, saying with a loud voice, What is the lamb that was slain to receive power? There is no powerless Christian, but you have Christians that may be ignorant of the power of God. There is no Christian in the body of Christ that is powerless. There is no powerless pastor, there is no powerless believer, but you may have believers who are not walking in the consciousness of the power of God. You have power to break yoke. You have power to break limitation. You have power to decide what happens in your life. You have the power. You have the power to create the atmosphere you want. You see, a lot of people play the part of a victim, you know. Oh, look at what life is doing to me. Oh, look at what is happening to me. I don't have anybody to help me. I don't, you know, they talk from a place of lack of knowledge. But if you have the revelation that you have power, it will change your conversation. It will change your mindset. It will change your thinking. It will change your expression. It will change how you respond to things because you know you have power. The lamb was slain to receive power. The first problem he solved was, was a power problem. You know, in my country, sometimes you hear people say things like, oh, the enemy has tied him up. Oh, the enemy has tied up her destiny. Oh, the enemy has tied up her womb. You know, all kinds of things you hear. And these are Christians. These are born again people. Most people are born again, but they don't have the real version of the God they are walking, serving, worshiping. They don't have the real version. Look at the real version here. The real version is that the lamb was slain to receive power. The next thing was riches. The next thing was wisdom. The next was strength. The next was honor. And the next was glory and blessing. This is why Jesus died. He died for you to have this. The lamb was slain to receive this. 
This is why he died. He died for you to live a life of power. He died for you to have riches. He died for you to walk in wisdom. He died that you have strength, you will have honor, you have glory and blessing. But can I say this to you? Millions of people in the body of Christ have no clue of this. And religion continue to fight the integrity of the word of God. Religion continue to give interpretation that negate the realities of redemption. Praying in the spirit will help you understand God's word. Praying in the spirit. One of the keys to understanding the word of God. Because understanding will produce strength for unlocking uncommon results. Understanding is key. He said in Proverbs, in all you're getting, he said, get understanding. Because if you don't have understanding, you'll be able, you'll be able to excel. Get understanding. Understanding is power. Understanding leads to supernatural miracles, signs, and wonders. You want to see the miraculous? You need spiritual understanding. He said, in all you're getting, he said, get understanding. Get understanding. So praying in the spirit, I have a few minutes to round up. Praying, uh, praying in the spirit is, is key to unlocking uncommon results. I like to look at Colossians 1. Verse 9, Colossians 1, verse 9, and, and look at this scripture. It said, For this reason, we also, since the day we had it, Colossians 1, verse 9, for this reason, we also, since the day we had it, do not cease to pray for you, to pray for you. This is why we're praying in tongues. When we're praying in tongues, it has people to receive revelation, inspiration, divine encounter. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That you be filled. When you begin to pray in tongue, you will be filled with knowledge of his will. One of the purposes of praying in tongue is to unlock the will of God. When you begin to pray in tongues, a lot of people don't have time to pray in tongues. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want, I, I mean, I don't want to do that. They don't. That. You see, the purpose of revelation is to strengthen conviction for practice. The purpose of revelation is to strengthen conviction for practice. The purpose of revelation knowledge is to strengthen your conviction for the practice of what you've received revelation for. So a lot of people don't have the revelation of tongues. And the area where you have no revelation is the area where you will suffer deficiency. The area where you have no revelation knowledge is the area where you're going to suffer deficiency. A lot of people have suffered deficiency because they lack revelation knowledge. They have suffered deficiency. They have suffered defeat. It takes revelation knowledge to enforce your victory. Your victory in Christ Jesus is enforced by revelation knowledge. And praying in tongue is the way to revelation knowledge. Praying in tongue is the way to revelation knowledge. If you want to increase in revelation knowledge, begin to pray more in tongues. Begin to pray more in tongues. Begin to pray more in tongues. Pray more in the spirit. Hallelujah. So it's an ask to be filled with the knowledge of his will and and in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, there are manifestations we can come into until we begin to pray more in the Holy Ghost. Pray more in the Holy Ghost. You're facing difficulty. Don't sit down and be crying. Tears won't solve your problem. You are facing challenging your finances. Don't sit down and be worrying about it and become depressed and lose your sleep. That won't solve your problem. When you're facing any situation, remember that life is spiritual. And most things you're dealing with have spiritual connection. Life is spiritual. And most things you're dealing with have spiritual connection. But when you begin to pray in tongue, when you begin to pray in the spirit, you are taking over the atmosphere and you are enforcing the will of God. Praying in tongue is the key to signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders begin to happen 
when people pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's pray in the, in the Spirit for few, for just some few seconds. My Yaku Robo Shandele Lagada, Libra, Dos Ketola, Cambrino, Secata, Libla Cababa, Recatara, Basha Ketolibla Gababa. I receive the passion to pray more in tongues. Mele kande brandos ketali kanda ba librato se ketene mene meni mana mene ma ro se ketene imbra kata ba ba li kande rebo shanda la ba gara re kande bo shanda la ba ba randa ba shanda la ba shanta la ba shanto bo shanto bo shanto bo shanto bo shanto bo shanta ba shapa 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 la ba lambro se katala ba ba in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the anointing for the all for the release of the spirit thank you for the board next to praying the spirit for everyone that is here receive a fresh hunger for the word receive a fresh hunger for praying the spirit as you can flow with the holy ghost in your everyday life in jesus mighty name amen and amen we we'll encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's Fitman Teachings on YouTube. And also, you can get our books by going to Amazon.com. There is greatness in you and further things you need to know about your future. It's available on Amazon.com. Um, and also, how to run a global business from any location is also available on Amazon.com. We want to really encourage you to consider partnering with this ministry by praying for this ministry and give as the Spirit of God will lead you. This program will continue tomorrow. This is the School of the Spirit, and we're going to be here for the next three days by tomorrow and Thursday and Friday we're going to be done. So I want to encourage you to invite someone to listen to these messages that will change how they think and empower them to produce on common resort until i see you tomorrow morning 6 a.m eastern standard time 5 a.m central time and 12 noon west african time until i see you tomorrow don't forget this there is greatness in you and jesus is coming soon